Chef's kiss? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Day three, Annapolis Boat Show. We are... Uh, Moving a little slow today because yeah. <laughs> it's been a jam-packed few days and we didn't have a YouTube booth time today, so we took the opportunity to sleep in. We did. We <laughs> slept in, so it's noon. Uh, we are just uh, getting started here at the show, but we're going to try and show you guys some things that we haven't shown you yet and talk to some people or some other YouTubers that we think have an awesome story uh, and that we have really connected with over this weekend. Today we're gonna to show you some cool things at the boat show and one of the things that we think is cool is the cool air chair. So, right. here we Scoop go. All the way back. <laughs> all the way back. All the way back. All right, Cole, take the camera for me, please. I might not get up. I'll just be here. How cool is that? Awesome. That's cool. All right, so guys, what's so cool about this, you don't need no pump, you see this? You basically, it's like a trash bag. You open this up, guys, it's dead. All right, let's get the air out of it. Let me come See? around this way. And you basically just open this up, guys, pull it to yourself and close it. It seems like nothing happening, right? But it is. You do it again, and again. And guys, believe it or not, this is ready. You wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And snap it in here. It's time to take a nap. So give us the give us the pitch. The elevator pitch. Yeah. Yeah. This is the paddle pump. It's uh, your spare paddle and bilge pump. Uh, we're making them two guys in a garage in Maine. Uh, blades and handles are made out of recycled plastic, anodized aluminum shaft. You can take them completely apart to service them. And there's no moving parts other than this little collet, so there's nothing to wear out. This is it. All right, and there's a uh, air air component to this as well, right? There is. Yeah. So you can attach a hose to top off your dinghy. Uh, we've tested it up to 50 PSI, and uh, we're available on paddlepumps.com and hopefully coming through like a retailer like you or nearby, like uh, West Marine or Bass Pro or something soon. Awesome, yeah. good deal. When you're a successful YouTube channel, um, this is what happens, right? Let me show you this. So Colin from Parley Revival, and look at this line, guys. Like this is, look at this line. You guys are all seeing Colin, right? Yeah. So Colin's channel is actually the channel that introduced all the Lagoon 450 owners with the bulkhead issues. And as you know from, yeah, as you know from our first couple of videos, we almost bought a 450. And uh, you know, I knew about the the bulkhead issues because of Colin. So thanks to Colin He's and a lot of people out because yeah. of that. So kudos to him and. Obviously his channel is very successful and thriving. It's just incredible to see and something we aspire to be as we are continuing to grow. So you think we'll have ones awesome. like this next year? Uh, let's hope for it, yeah. <laughs> let's shoot for we it. We certainly <laughs> hope so, so. We talked about Parley Revival before, but now we're gonna talk about the biggest channel in the sailing community, Sailing Vagabond. So check out this line that they have. Not only is it a long line, but it goes all the way around and back behind these tents. So that is uh, quite a long line. It's going to take some time. But you know what's great about them? They get the entire YouTubers booth to themselves because they get so many fans coming in and saying hello. So it's uh, it's really, really cool. It's and so cool to see. I mean, I was talking to Elena and Riley last night at the Cruisers Awards party. Like, if they could have envisioned what this would have been all these years later and how it's blown up and really revolutionized the, the sailing community, I bet they would have thought, wow, this would have never happened. Yeah, they've um, inspired so, so many people, right? So many so. people, we've obviously been inspired by them, and it's just so cool to see people lined up here. Yeah. But like you guys, we have been inspired by La Vagabond, so you're obviously standing in line with them to meet them now. Uh, we just started our YouTube channel not too long ago, but how long have you been watching them? And the best thing about their channel, what do you love about it? Okay. I love watching the kids and I just, I love, like, just, I love the same aspect of it. So, 
Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tradition now. I know, like, like every Monday we sit yeah, down and Monday watch it. Yeah. Every Monday? Yeah. Oh wow! All right. Like vacation. <laughs> right. Together, all four of you? No, no, no. no, no. no. Okay, all right. Yeah. No, but like that's what we we'll do. We eat dinner and just sit and watch it like every Monday, like a tradition. So yeah. And the videos come out what time Monday? Six o'clock. I think six. only six. All right, so yeah. you know, I, I was, I thought I was throwing you a curveball there. Right? No, 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 no. All right, so our videos come out every Monday at, at three o'clock. Okay. So we're trying, you know, we're a little bit ahead of them. Yeah. So hopefully you'll be able to watch theirs and then go right into ours. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jamie from Southern California. You're at the back of the line at Sailing the Vagabonds line. How long have you been watching them? Uh, about four years. About four years. Yeah. What do you love about them? They're down to earth. They're the best parents ever. They're the best sailors ever. I would like to learn how to sail you? from them. I want lessons from them. <laughs> I want to go on their boat. We'll put in a good word for you. <laughs> we just got our boat, so. That's amazing. Well, maybe we'll see you out on the water as well. Do you, are you guys on the water? We'll, we will be next month. Okay. We're leaving from Florida for the Bahamas full time. I'm excited. Crazy, right? Like. You yeah, girls, can yeah, I talk yeah. to you next? Yeah. How long have you had? No, are you scared? You're on TV. You're gonna be on camera. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been watching Sailing the Vagabond? For you like about a year. Maybe about a year. Yeah. What do you love about their channel? You don't know? <laughs> I bet you and the boys would be friends, huh? Jumping in the water, swimming. No? What do you think? Yeah, I bet yeah. you would. <laughs> Are you mom and dad? Yes. How long yeah. have you guys been watching? About uh, three years, I guess. Three yeah. years. Three years. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Are you guys buying a boat? One I heard. Day. I think I walked by and heard a little bit about buying, maybe buying a boat. Maybe. Putting maybe. in the charter one program, day, maybe. One day. One All right. Day. We have a little bit more free yeah. time. So there you far, go. we do vacation every year on the boat, um, but we don't we don't own ourselves, so that's why we watch videos. So. There you go. And you're from where? Learn all the things. Brooklyn, New uh, York. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. One last question, guys. How yes. long have you been watching Sailing the Vagabond? Oh, a couple years probably. Couple years? What about you? Are you all together? We're together. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I started watching it when he picked her up in a bar. How cool when, is that story? The first videos, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he had a monohull. He didn't know what he was doing. That was awesome. I'm like, I gotta follow this guy. You know, That's so. cool. That's awesome. And I, I was telling my husband earlier, I'm like, if they could have known what would happen all these years later, I don't think it's they incredible. Knew. I just think, you know, they put it out there and people responded to and it. And people responded. Do you also, own a boat? Well, Kayak. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, you obviously watch because you have a Tula yeah, shirt well, on. I was into trimarans, and the Tula started running that show about, you know, the, the 880 Corsair. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the Dragonfly, and I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> but they have a Dragonfly here, and the, uh, the guy from Denmark is here talking about all the technical programs. So it was really oh. cool to hear what they have to say. Awesome. Well, where are you from? Well, I live in Williamsburg, Virginia now, but I'm out of northern Michigan. Awesome. Guys, I am so excited to introduce this person to the channel, Christina from Christina's Travels. We've been chatting for many months on end on Instagram. She's like my long lost Australian sister. Our lives have been like completely parallel. Yes. You obviously left the news business during COVID. Yeah. I left the news business during COVID yeah. and you've been traveling all throughout Australia yeah. and even Greece, yeah. which has been amazing. So it's so good to meet it you. It is so good oh. to meet you too. I feel like we've known each other for years. I know, this has been so fun this week. We've obviously gotten a lot of time together with yeah. you and your boyfriend, John. So we've got to get you to the Bahamas. I'm so excited for that. I'm so happy that you guys are pursuing that dream. It's so special and your boat is <laughs> Chef's kiss? <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. And um, you know, obviously you guys went through some serious stuff with the with the um, you know, the hurricane, so I'm got so lucky. You dodged a bullet and that's um I think that that was oh, yeah. meant to be. Yes, yeah, Absolutely. you guys are gonna do some amazing things. We are watch this space. Watch this space. Yeah. Now when you guys come down to Australia, <laughs> yep. we're putting you up. That sounds good. I love it. But in the meantime, you gotta come to the Bahamas. So you'll be seeing more of this girl yes. and John on our channel soon. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. Oh, like we're we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna collab. Guys, right? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah. It's coming. Stay tuned. <laughs> Jack, which is Riley's cousin, on Vagabond Adventures, their mm -hmm. new adventure, and then his lovely girlfriend Etta. And you guys have got to be so excited. You're gonna be the captain of yeah, the boat, I'm right? So excited. Are you so excited about this adventure? <laughs> Definitely. Tell yeah. me, tell me more about it. I know you guys have had a ton of interest here at the boat show. The boat's obviously been docked here. I've seen a line out the out the whole area every time we walked by. How can people find you guys and, and book with you? 
Yeah, so we're offering uh, charters in the Bahamas. And uh, yeah, you can find us at vagabondadventures.com, vagabond.adventures on Instagram. But yeah, we're offering charters and ASA instruction and coaching. So hopefully a lot of new boat owners will want to get some coaching and catamaran sort of coaching as well. So yeah, we're, we're amped. It's crazy. <laughs> from, a, from a business perspective, it's so cool to see like what Riley and Elena have built all these years and now just expanding the brand in a different way. Love it for you guys. You're going to be in the Abaco area? Yeah, in yeah, the Abaco okay. is based on Marsh Harbor. Super easy to access and it's paradise. And hopefully we see you guys in like December, January because we're expecting to be there too. All the cool people are going to be there. All the cool yeah. people. <laughs> well, and not only that, so let me add one word aspect to this. So obviously they, we, it's the Ultramira 45. And so you've been doing, I mean, you both have been doing a lot of sailings. You just went across the Pacific, yep. but this is not just a typical charter boat, right? Like this is a performance catamaran uh, that people are gonna really get to see some major sailing in, right? Like yeah, that's, that's part right. of it. This boat's proven itself. It's crossed the Atlantic multiple times, did North Atlantic in the winter. Yeah. Like they were in 60 knots, just bonkers stuff. And the boat loves it. I mean, it was 15 knots in flat water the other day. I've surfed this thing to 22 knots. It's it's really nice to sail, it's fun. It's, it's responsive. You, perfect boat to learn on as well because it's responsive you get to adjust the sails and actually feel the difference so we might actually have to come with you guys for just a day sail or something so we could feel cool. like what a what a performance catamaran feels like and uh, also let us let you teach us some things yeah. because yeah. we know you guys are experts in this we're obviously brand new learning all the things so just super excited for you and hope to see you on the water soon yeah. can't wait <laughs>no introduction how you doing guys but as you know we're just getting started so you've been there done that your channel has been wildly successful what advice do you have for us newbies here on the block i'd say i mean get a schedule keep to it don't ever take a day off it's a lot of hard work but you know you got to do that for the first uh, well i still do it Forever. i don't ever miss a week and so it's just keep keep creating the content and keep putting it out do the best you can try to make it interesting okay Cool, and hopefully we'll see you out there on the water one day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when we get the new boat, and uh, we'll go sailing. Yeah, Heck yeah. Right. awesome. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks. for chatting with us. Awesome, thank you. How fitting is it that we're in 727 sails? Uh, they obviously make some amazing sail bags here out of used and old sails and so forth, but we're here with Daryl from Precision Sails, and tell us a little bit about the company. Well, uh, first of all, it was amazing to meet you guys this weekend. That <laughs> Thank was, you. It's, it's been a blast. It's been great what to you. Have, you have been running around here like crazy, and oh my gosh, you have been doing such a great job. Obviously, you have the new Instagram account going, which is what? What's the plug? Daryl Hodgson Sales. Yeah. Yeah. Daryl Hodgson <laughs> Sales. And Precision Sales have been completely on their A game with the Instagram this week, so you guys have to check them out on Instagram, Precision Sales. Give them a follow. They'll right appreciate on. it. So we're in Victoria on Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, that's right. And uh, hopefully you but guys you're, are going to come you're, visit. I don't know if we'll make it up to Canada. Uh, <laughs> this no. girl doesn't like cold weather, no. but okay, we're trying to work okay. on it. Nevertheless, you're making sales and sending them all across the country, right? Yeah, we, sell, we sell them all over the world. Okay. Yeah, it's um, a really cool community that we work with now. And, yeah. And, you know, we tag on to the communities of all of our partners, and it's just an amazing environment like at the boat show do you know how much fun this has been <laughs> you've been Meeting having a great like time. <laughs> everyone and it's like it's the best it has been fun we've really enjoyed it this is our first time here at the show yeah yeah and same with you or have you yeah, been here before? I, i've been here a couple years before covid okay. um but last year i missed out had something come up family thing and then yeah. uh, now i'm back 
Yeah. It's back. And, I'm ready. <laughs> and you have been in the mix of everything all week. This has just been such an exciting time to yeah. really meet and network with everyone. Everyone's a new face for us pretty much because we're new to this yeah. sailing yeah. game, new to YouTube. So it's been awesome and we appreciate everything you guys have done this week. That's sweet. And we don't need sales yet. But one, day good. Will. but one day <laughs> we will. So long, we'll be hitting you up. <laughs> long term relationship. That's it. That's right. <laughs> I like awesome. it. Great I to like meet it. You. so much. Yeah, that's awesome, guys. Now let's have a great rest of the weekend. This is our last day. So we're leaving, today? We're leaving tomorrow morning. First thing Monday oh, we have to morning. fly back. So today, you don't really we're need sleep. <laughs> Not at all. Our batteries are drained yeah, right now. My Victron is literally <laughs> beeping at me because they're below 20% for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Oh my goodness. Cool. That's oh. awesome. When did yeah. you guys really get started? Yeah, I think 2014, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah. It, was, it, was, it was early, somewhere yeah. right in there. Yeah. Yes, so you guys have been so successful and we're the, the noobs on the tube, as we like to call it. Yeah. What advice would you have for newbies? Don't do. Don't start a YouTube channel with the uh, with the idea of being successful. So okay. just do the thing that you love. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you did. Well, Elena did because well, you didn't we, want to be a part of it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So it's it's way too. It's YouTube alone is way too hard. And then throw sailing on top of that, which is, which is its own job. So you just you got to do the thing that you love, and then from there the videos will follow. Because there's just too much work. If, if it's like work for you, it's just it won't. You'll never get there. So well, make sure that you love it, and then and then go from there. Well, and then obviously you guys have been so successful on YouTube, but now you just launched a book, a kids book, which yep. is phenomenal. We've seen. Uh, so many people with it in their hands throughout yeah. the show, and yeah. you know, there's so many different you know avenues that you're you know be able to reach into. We've been talking with your cousin about your vagabond, vagabond adventures. adventures. Like yeah, we got a few lines in the fly, mate. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. Give the plug for the book. If anyone wants to buy Elena's book, where can they get it? Uh, uh, I would check out her Instagram. Okay. I don't actually know. <laughs> uh, it's, it'll be on the website probably. Go check out Elena's Instagram. All right. At Little Sailors ABC. It, it honestly, it turned out amazingly well. We only got it at the show. Sure. And I opened it up and I knew that the illustrator was really good. Sure. But when you, you know, you're not sure until you see it. And I was like, this is good quality. Wait, so you guys didn't really see happy. it before the show? No. Oh my gosh, wow. So we wouldn't, I mean, yeah. We're very, very happy with the quality. That's Amazing. awesome. Well, yeah. right. we saw it and it's pretty cool. So nice one. Yeah. Keep kicking butt. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys and Thanks the inspiration. So much. No worries. Yeah. No worries at all. <laughs> I'm glad that we could do that. We've had an amazing time at the boat show the last couple days and we really haven't gotten to explore the town other than the boat show, but you've got to check out Quirkenbach Pottery. If you've never been to Annapolis, come on in. We're going to show you this super adorable pottery shop. Yeah. This is Cameron, the owner of this lovely shop, and we've just been walking around and seeing all these beautiful handmade pieces. Tell me a little bit about what you have here. Um, it's stoneware pottery. Uh, my business partner and I have been in business for 25 years now. Wow. Well, We've had the store for five. Um, we love what we do. We're in here every day cranking out the pots. And you told me this actually started because you needed to find a job, yeah, basically. Yeah, graduated from college, moved to Annapolis. Uh, my degree is in archeology, span but couldn't find a job, um, so just decided to make pots, and this is where we are. <laughs> yes, your work is very beautiful, and we're excited to bring a little fish dish home, and we're going to use it as a, a silverware holder. Excellent. Yeah, Thank we're you. A, a, I appreciate a it. Spoon holder when we're cooking, I guess I should say. So we'll be reminded of Quirkenbach when we're back on our Thank boat. Thank you very yeah, much. Use that. Safe travels. Thank and fair you. Fair winds. <laughs> is basically um, a business that started in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, the Wright family who established it, they have their two younger children out of four. 
Biddy and Bo who have uh, Down syndrome. They, um, so based on um, their abilities uh, and disabilities um, that try to um, confront the civil rights and disability movements in the United States, they created a business to um, hire people with disabilities because when you have a learning or developmental disability, you don't really get to have the same opportunities as um, any, other, um, any other human being would get. It is. It's a true story. I, I think it should be. There should be a better awareness. Kevin, for my circumstance. Kevin, you can come join. Come in. here. Yeah, come, come here. here. Okay. You were just trying to. What are you showing me? Is that some puree? Yeah. It's more than a cup of coffee. Yeah. So cheers. Nice. More than a cup of coffee. And so you guys have. Uh, the smoothie. That's Yummy stuff, huh? Four and seven. Do you love your job? Love my job. Love my own you peeps. <laughs> yeah. And you've given us yeah. excellent Hello, service this morning. Dreams, the Thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, look at All right. Thanks, guys. <sighs> ah. It's been a long day. Yeah, it does. It's been a long week, but a really good week. It's been a lot of fun. We've met a lot of great people. Yeah. Wait, will you look at the camera one more time? Leave me alone. My hat's always <laughs> crooked. It's fine. My head's crooked. She so cannot wear a hat straight. Like, if this is going to be a thing, I promise you, people are going to notice all the time. And it's good. so, it's it's kind of like the one channel we met that has the black dog. That, yeah. The, it's the quirkiness. The stuffed dog? Yeah, the yeah. quirkiness of it. All That's right. Captain Q. That's right. So, anyways, it's been a great week. We've met a lot of amazing people. We had a super cool moment tonight, a dinner that I want to share with you. So your aunt for our wedding gave us a jar and wrote mm -hmm. us this really cool card about how fast the first year of marriage goes by. So tonight when we were paying, all paying for the bill, we were splitting it, everybody was getting out their wallets. Uh, Sailing Yaba, Ben from Sailing Yaba pulled out his wallet and he, for some reason, gave us a euro. I don't know why this happened. And then we started laughing about it and then I told the story of how she gave us this jar and she basically challenged us to save memories from our first year of marriage so we could go back and look at them because the time goes by really fast. So I yeah. told the guys this story and I was like, guys, you gotta sign this. So they signed these bills for us. We have an Aussie bill from our, our pals, uh, Christina and John. And then we have uh, MP and Ben from Sailing Yava, the Euro dollar here. So just really cool memories that we'll get to look back on a year from now on our anniversary and just remember the amazing experiences that we had. What's funny about it is that Ben is actually uh, an, an MP. They live in Brazil. But yeah. yeah, they gave they us had a, euro. a euro. But yeah. hey, whatever. We'll it's take it. totally That's cool. cool. And we had such a great time at dinner with them tonight. And we did. Just a, overall, just a great time at this boat show. Uh, it's our first time at the boat show. Uh, and we're excited actually for next year. Oh like, my goodness. I can't already. wait to come back. We haven't even left been, yet, but. Yeah. Yeah, we have a really early morning. So we're really excited to also get back to our regular posting schedule. So Monday at 3 p.m., be sure to tune in. We are gonna be consistent on Monday at 3 p.m. from here on out. So look Until something else happens. Yeah, until something else crazy happens. Hopefully not a hurricane anytime soon. So please tune in and join and subscribe. And for those of you already here on the channel, thanks so much for your support. It really means a lot as we're just really getting started and getting the momentum. So thanks for yeah. being here, guys. Good night.